be all right. I mean, Hang on one second. Oh, you have to trust him. Hey, uh, Cajal. Cajal over in the sound booth. Can we bring the radio down, please? We've got a couple interviews going on over here. I'll say it. it's funny that Mickey brought it. I'm from San Jose, California, which in the early 80s in Thrasher Magazine they called skate Skaterville, you know? I mean, it, it was definitely, because of skate parks, it was definitely a very early capital. I'm a year, two years younger than Caballero. Um, same age as Gavin O'Brien and Corey, Corey O'Brien, right in the middle. Just grew up in the mix, you know, of all of that. And, uh, did some work for Thrasher in the early 80s for MoFo, and then actually moved to San Diego to go to school, and ended up working at Transworld. So, been I started working at a skate shop in 1982. So, tells you do the math, you know. So, uh, but yeah, I've been done it in a long time. So, started help, helped uh, start some brands, and and then uh, been at Soltec for 10 years, and just recently uh, moved on from there to work with the Maloofs and do some other stuff. So. Done a lot of stuff. It's fun. I and I, you know, it's cliche at this point, but you know, find a job you love and you never work a day in your life. So I'm living and breathing that. You know, when you talk about the ripple effect, um, I go back to to two other things. I think Steve Rodriguez and the way he really, you know, in the early 2000s, there weren't a lot of skateboard events in New York, organized skateboard events, and. You know, I met Steve early 2000s, 2001 or two, and well, became friends with him. And you know, I'd known him for a while, but uh, he started those back to the bank or the the uh, Brooklyn Bank's cleanups, and that was kind of the start. That was the first, you know, of this wave of New York events. That was the first one. Uh, clean up the banks, and if you know, if you skated there back then, it wasn't a pleasant place. It stunk like this and crap and and. Uh, you weren't necessarily always safe, uh, especially pre-9-11. Post-9-11, I think, because 1PP, they did a lot of, well, I mean, obviously there's a lot of dirt and stuff from, you know, from the towers and ash, but, you know, early, I think 2003 or four, those back to the banks, I mean, those, excuse me, those Brooklyn Banks cleanups, I'm going to say that again. In, in early 2004, the, the Brooklyn Banks cleanups efforts really started that whole community thing, and in 2004 also, we did the first S Game of Skate here. And people were really thankful, and because we were told there just weren't a lot of that kind of organized events here in New York. And we've done a Game of Skate in New York every year. Since then, I've also become involved through America, working with Steve and Fibro for Back to the Banks. So I think those are the start of the ripple effect. Those really bring the community together, the skateboarding community. It is 3.30, so one hour from now, we will have a judges meeting right up here on the steps, probably that's with the whole skate park in Tampa crew, and all riders, ski managers as well. Woo! Manny. All right, and Cajal, we can bring that music back up, please. Same level as we were before. We want to let everything build for the weekend. We want to remind everybody, tomorrow at noon, we get started with the qualifiers. So unless you were in the top 12 from last year, you will still be skating at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Practice starts at 11. At uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow, we have the Masters coming. Do a little session demo thing. Devin and Romar putting together a great line out there. Oh! 540 heli pop over the head. Check out Kevin in the new blind video. This is not a test. Got the, the curtains part. Well, thank you so much. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Great. So, so all the answer, everything sounded okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Alright. I don't claim San Jose, man. It's night. 25 years ago I left there. I know, but still, that's your roof. That's <laughs> where Hi, Justin. Yeah, no. You can't hide it. No, I don't try to hide it, but. That's Jay. <laughs> no, all right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for taking the time. Sure. Yeah. Let's see if I can get out of here.